So this is going to be purely a peely base thing, okay? So these nails, doing lovely, have been on for, I think, three days. But today, we're doing some stuff around the house. I took a chip out of this here. And one thing that will mess up a peely base real fast is when you take a chip or need to clip something down or file it because you wind up breaking that seal. And I will show you by what I mean. I will show you what I mean by that. So, to remove them, I use one of these little baby orange sticks. Just get under there a bit. And you can see it start to... See that kind of stretchy? That's the peely base. It, And I know I say this every time, but it makes me think of a peel-off face mask. And you do have to kind of run your finger around to get that off. And that isn't even something that, like, remover would remove. Because it's like a little, um, I don't know what to call it. Almost like a rubbery layer between your nail and that. And there we go. So, these ones are my negative space. Still works the same. Do you see it start to lift there? like that. And I just kind of run my finger over it to make sure I've gotten all the peely base off there because I don't want to leave any behind. I don't think it would do anything real detrimental but I still isn't that crazy I mean all of these so far that I've taken off would have been fine for more days but now I'm sitting at the point where I've got one thumb off and you guys when that thumb came off I have forgot that I switched back to Peely Base I was about ready to go to Fa's house. I was like, how did this whole nail just come off? What in the heck? And I loved this set. And like, I planned it out where I was a few sets ahead so that this one could be on for a while. And that's the way it goes. Hopefully... This is coming in clear enough for everybody that you can see how it works. I will say this is probably one of the things I get the most questions on each year. Or not necessarily each year because it's really only been a year since I've been using it. But just in general, this is something I get a lot of questions on. So I just figured it was time to do another good start to finish. There is also, like if you don't feel like this bit of info I'm giving tonight is enough for you. Hit the, um, like on my main page, if you go to the playlists, there is an entire playlist dedicated to um, Peely Base and like how to use it and such. Okay, thumbs already off. Isn't that cool? It just, you know, and that was just like the CND Vinyl Lux. I can't wait to get my nails back to their world's prime condition. And I will say that um, this past like five, six months of using uh, Color Street remover and the um, Orly Bonder has done well but I can definitely see the like the slightest bit 
of discoloration coming back. So for me, I feel like if I switch, like basically, oh gosh, they're so nice. Um, fall and winter are my favorite times to use it just because I change my nails a lot with the holidays because I love them. Um, and so if, you know, once it gets back to spring and summer, if I switch back to just Orly and the color street remover, I feel like it's a good space for me. Like, I feel like it works well for me. Um, and in the summer kind of is when I'm doing more hand intensive stuff where I run a bigger risk of like breaking a nail and peeling a peely base up. There. Okay, so now, now this is when I take the time. I don't need to file anything because I did a good job last time. I don't need to do my cuticles. I did a good job on that last time. But I need to try to fix this, hopefully without losing too much length on it. So I'm using a 320 grit to see what I can come across here. I'm sorry if you hate the sound of filing like I do. I still want to keep it as, you know, kind of square tipped as I can. Not lose a ton of. Okay, I think it's feels smooth, so I think it's good. Everybody else is good. All right, now, the one I use is aisle 21, and it's aisle21.com. It's also sold on Etsy. Peel off base coat made in the USA. Okay, so, um, there's also a UNT brand, and I think that is the one that um, Nail Frantina uses, and there is a Hollow Taco one, and there is a, um, crap, now I can't remember what that brand was called. There's plenty to choose from. That's my point. Now, the reason, um, I stuck with this one when I ordered a big variety was because I like the feel of the brush head or whatever you want to call it, the handle. The handle feels nice to me. And that's a big part, you know, I want to like feel comfortable using it or whatever. Um, but the others work to the same. So the main thing you want to do when you're looking for one is you don't want one that's glue based because it's really hard on your nails and it's not going to get your nails in a good situation. It's going to get your nails in a bad situation. And if you, uh, oh, this doesn't have ingredient list you want the water-based one um and they usually have it usually has alcohol in it too which is how it like dries up pretty quick and the glue based ones are more like of a creamy color they're not clear like this if that helps and then when I put it on hopefully you can see I'm not going all the way to the base. I'm not going all the way to the sides or the tip or the side. Um, let me bring this back out actually and see if that'll help you guys. Uh, and I will show you why in a second here. Now the other thing with a peely base coat is that you have to give it a good amount of time to set up. Uh, talking like six-ish minutes. somewhere in there but you'll be able to know by looking at it you know it's gonna go from wet looking to kind of like a almost like a matte look 
Okay. And that, in, in my opinion, that right there was the hardest part because it's in our nature to paint our entire nail. <laughs> so not painting your entire nail takes a little practice. Um, okay, so now we'll sit for a minute with these and let them dry. Let's talk about the Halloween kits, you guys. Did you get them? They're so freaking cool. I got mine today. Uh, they're, they're beauties. They really are beauties. I thought they were fantastic. I'm so excited to play with them. Uh, I know a lot of the stylists are doing like little contests and stuff in their group. So that's super fun. I hope that they stick with it versus doing the uh, sus subscription boxes. I love the kid idea because, if for me anyway, I love that I can support more than one stylist if I want. I love that if it's a kit that I super am crazy for, I can get six of them if I feel like it. I don't um, necessarily feel like I'd want to get, you know, six subscriptions not knowing for sure what you're gonna get I hope that they do a Thanksgiving one and that the overlay has like little acorns and stuff on it I'm just I think they're great I love the small packaging versus the big box that they were doing with the subscription boxes I'm always a fan of less packaging um, you got five different, or five, well, not five different sets because the four strip accent pack is the same color as the full set of French tips, but you got five sets in there, four different colors that are not, you know, available normally. Um, and I just... I just loved all of them. The overlay was freaking brilliant. The orange is stunning. I would love to see a Thanksgiving kit that has uh, overlays of a cornucopia, a scarecrow maybe, you know? I just hope they do them each month so that people can have the option if they want them. Uh, what I heard was that they made 50,000 of them and they were down to 20,000 on the second day so that's fantastic I love that they're selling but I also love that they're still left uh, they're not something you can use a hostess credit on from what I've seen um, what else did they say you can't do I think that was really oh they're not part of the buy three get one I think that was the only other like big sticky stip stipulation stipulation um what else I think that was it for the big stipulations so I mean we're are we a week ish I mean I got mine today no they came out Monday so we're almost a week since they've launched and they're still on the website and I feel like that's really good like people have you know if they were wanting to get them they've had the chance right that's what it seems like to me anyway so I hope they keep up with them and skip the monthly subs that's my that's my personal take on it I think it would be really good I when people showed their subs I was not a fan of the idea that you know I mean, I love the idea of getting a free item, but not a lipstick. Like, if I'm going to get a free item, I want it to be nail items. And that wasn't necessarily what their plan was or wasn't, wasn't how they started. So, these are, I can see bits of wet still in a few spots here. So, anyway, I loved it. I'm excited. I'm excited to play with it. I'll probably do like a extra video type of situation. Whoops. For when I use mine, I definitely have some ideas for it. Yeah, I would love to see a Thanksgiving overlay that does not have a single thing turkey on it. I did a big, you guys know you can email info at colorstreet.com and give them feedback. 
And I told them, girls, all we do is turkeys. Please stop doing turkeys. Like, there's other things for Thanksgiving, you know, than turkeys. So I hope we see some some really cute overlays even like um little hay bale with pumpkins on it or something that would be very cute i can see these ones are dry i can tell their situation has changed and these are close okay so now last year when i was doing this um i used a quick dry top coat over them and nail friend um Amanda Hall, who also has a Color Street channel. She's a stylist and is linked out on my front page. Um, she used Orly Bonder. And, I, and then when I started using Orly Bonder, I'm like, well, that's brilliant. Because Orly Bonder is also, you know, very tacky besides. So now I'm going to take my Orly Bonder. And I am going over the whole nail. This time I'm going... To the bottom side to side up to my tips and when I remember I even kind of wrap my tips to give it that little extra bit of protection now I've went uh, six days with my Peely base without any issue and only stopped because I was like okay that's enough of this contest you know what I mean like because people will say oh how long does this last or you know, can you show us type of deal? And it's like, I can show you guys, but you know I hate leaving mine more than a few days. So I'm showing you what I do for my best setup, but you might have to tinker a bit also for your best setup. Now know if you just cover your whole nail in the Peely base and then put your strips on, there's a real big chance that they won't make it more than a few days because they do pop off beautifully. Um, if you're looking to do like maybe a contest mani or something and then change it right out, man, peel a base is the way to go because you can, you know, you're there's no remover touching your fingers and not even any of the nail products other than this little teeny perimeter are even touching your nails. So, It'll be crazy to see because I can start to see the discoloration just a little bit now. So it'll be great to watch my nails go back to their whole good self. But they're not nearly as discolored as they were before. So I feel like this whole kind of six month on and six month off is going to be my perfect fit. Hopefully. And you know what, you guys? If I was 100% full nail person, meaning I didn't do tips, slants, negative space stuff, I wouldn't give two craps about a discolored nail because I know it's just, you know, from using um, polish. It just is what it is. Plus, I do use a lot of dark colors. Um, but because I do my negative space and... French tips and slants and such, I do want to have a nice looking nail peeping out, please and thank you. Uh, one thing, one other thing you guys to know about this is that once you put that strip down <laughs> with the peely base, it's down because if you lift your strip up, it's just going to pull the peely base up, which also depending on the patience you have and kind of what you're going for, you can totally just pop it up and throw your peely base back down and start again on that finger. It's no big deal. But just know that it's not something where you're going to be able to, you know, lift your strips and move stuff around. You got to think of it like you do with a, um, oh, what do you call it? Base coat. Because if you have any type of base coat when you're doing your nails you can't lift strips and move them around so there we go guys now i'm just gonna let these set and i'll do my nails hope that helps you guys out let me know if you have questions have a good one